30 minute vegan mashed potatoes and gravy. You don't wanna miss this one. Hey y'all, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and today we are talking about one of the most iconic side dishes, especially around the holidays. We're gonna be showing you how to make mashed potatoes and gravy. This is one of the easiest recipes to veganize because you are literally just swapping the butter and the milk for vegan butter and milk and then you are good to go. So if you are new to being vegan or you are new to being dairy free, then this is a must make because easy and potatoes, count me in. You are going to be shocked at how easy this is. In fact, you only need one large pot and one large bowl and you are good to go for not only the mashed potatoes but the gravy too and I know that sometimes people think that gravy can be hard but literally you can't mess this up you need about 10 minutes five ingredients and then you have the most delicious gravy ever in fact it's like the most popular recipe on our site both the mashed potatoes and the gravy can easily be toppy allergen friendly without any sacrifices to the taste or the texture so all those pesky people who swore they would never eat vegan won't even notice so all right y'all let's show you exactly how to do it. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is grab our pre-washed potatoes and start peeling them. You could leave the skin on, but we don't prefer our mashed potatoes that way. Zero waste tip though would be to fry the skin in some oil for a few minutes until crispy, then remove and sprinkle with salt for an easy zero waste potato chip idea. Next, cube up your potatoes, try to get them roughly the same size for an even cooking time. Cubing potatoes at this stage helps your potatoes cook faster. Add all of your cubed potatoes into a large pot and add in vegetable stock. We are using vegetable stock over water to not only infuse flavor into the potatoes, but also because we're going to use this to make our gravy. Bring to a boil and continue to cook your potatoes, stirring occasionally until they are easily pierced with a fork. Using a slotted spoon, remove your potatoes to a large bowl, letting some of the stock drip off, but it's fine if some transfers. Once you have all your potatoes into the bowl, you are going to add in vegan butter. Divide this up into a few sections so it's not just all in one place. Then dairy-free milk. Technically any plant-based milk will work, but our recommendation is choosing a neutral, very creamy option like oat milk. Add in a very generous amount of salt, black pepper, and then it's time to get mashing. We're using a potato masher, or you could also use a potato ricer to mash our potatoes until they're creamy. While a mixer would ensure less lumps, it's easy to overmix with a hand mixer, which results in a gluey, gummy texture to your mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are a bit of a guess for exact measurement, so you may need to add a dab more butter, a splash more milk, and likely you'll need more salt since potatoes need a lot to taste seasoned. And voila! All right, so that vegetable stock that we had our potatoes boiling in, move that to a measuring cup. You should have roughly two cups of stock remaining. If you don't, add a bit more to get to the two cups. In the same pot, add some vegan butter and let it melt. Then add in some flour. If you are gluten-free, you can do this with a one-to-one -one gluten-free flour, chickpea flour, or almond flour. Whisk this together until you have a roux. Then you are going to add back in that vegetable stock slowly and whisk continuously until well combined. Add in some salt and pepper, taste to add more if needed, and then let it cook for just a few minutes to thicken up. Remove from heat and let it cool for a few minutes before placing it inside of a pourable container. You can easily double or triple either of these recipes if needed. In the rare event that you have leftovers, you can use it to make a shepherd's pie that will also link in the description box below. And that's how easy it is to make the best vegan mashed potatoes and gravy in 30 minutes. The full recipe with measurements is linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video on how to make a classic vegan dish. Leave a comment below and let us know what other classic dishes you want us to veganize. We'd appreciate if you could give this video a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Have a great day and remember to smile.